What's going on, Dragon Ball fans? We're back here with a Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video here, man. So, yeah, man, we're here to talk about the easy A details of your boy, Strength Yuan Sign Goku. So, I know the translations was initially done by uh, Minito's Flash. Um, you know, big shout out to him. Now, I know when they do the wiki, I'm not sure if they take this from the actual uh, private server and then put it in, or they took, you know, just his raw translations. But it's, it's pretty much the, uh, the same from what I read on, on Twitter. So I'm just going with that. Just had to give him, you know, a shout out. But yeah, man, let's talk about your boy here, man. So you guys know, man, I did do a initial predictions video. And they did some things that I asked for and some things they did it. And that's pretty much how easy is going to work. Sometimes you may get, you know, what you ask and not everything. So it's good that he got some things and you know we can go from there so let's go ahead and talk about them so realm of gods you know 150 of course the key types some people are saying that's supposed to be 120 but they still stay at 100 for some reason you know i don't i don't know anything about that now here we go with the super attacks and the um ultra super attack so like i told y'all in my previous video he needed some attacking defense on both of them which he did get and he ended up also getting greatly raising on um, the ultra, which is great. Now, they kept the disabled enemy's guard and um, causes mega class damage to the enemy. But it did, they did also give him raises uh, allies attack by 50% for one turn. Now, if you have this guy rainbow and, you know, you have him maybe full dodge bill, you can probably risk him in slot one. Getting that ultra super attack off. And of course, um, you know, being able to provide that support. Now, I don't have this unit. I am going to summon for the banner once it drops. And most likely mine's gonna be 55%. So I'm not gonna really be um, you know, depending on him to actually provide that support there, but it's good that he has built in, you know. Uh, dodge chance in his passive. So let's go over that because not much change and we can see the before and after. So I told y'all the baseline, I was hoping they gave him 200%, but close enough, they just added 100. So we got 177 and then we got key plus four and a great chance of invading enemy attack. So that still is the same, but I don't think he had the key. Yeah, he didn't have the key at all. So, you know, we, we will take the key there. And then of course we have including super attack for seven turns that's still the same and a high chance of evading enemy super attack starting eight turn that's still the same then it says plus an additional chance of evading enemy attack including super attack plus seven percent plus uh per representative of universe seven credit guy ally is ex self excluded attacking in the same turn so by having uh you know him on the uni reps teams it's also going to help with the seven percent so I think that could go a long way, just him being on a full uni rep team, so he'll be able to utilize that. Now, most of his kit is not that restrictive. I would say uh, that's a good thing, but you would hope and wish that that was just baseline, you know, by itself, that it wasn't restrictive to uni rep. But yeah, you guys already know that was going to do that. So yeah, man, um, you know, he also um, plus an additional... Defense plus 75% for the rest of the battle, either invading and attack. So, like I said, this is a dodge and dodge character. And you do want him to get his dodges in. That way he can get, you know, those additional buffs. So, it says, um, so it says plus an additional attack for the rest of the battle, either invading to the first attack in a turn. Plus an additional key plus one of the plus seven and attack and defense and chance of performing critical hit plus 11%. Up to 77%, which each um, attack invaded. So, you want this guy to get, you know, a bunch of dodges in. He'll get some attack, he'll get some defense. He will also be getting some crit. So, I think that's good overall. But, like I said, I'm glad that he's raising and greatly raising and in his uh, super attacks. Um, I mean, I, I still think it's not enough defense, but it's something. And at least he has, you know, the dodge chances. So, like I said, if I had this unit rainbow, I would put him on full dodge anyway, still. But, you know, I'm just going to get my initial copy. But if he is, uh, you know, on some future banners or something, hopefully I, hopefully I can get some dupes. But I always liked it as a unit. I always wanted to get him. So I'm glad he's going to be coming soon. But yeah, man, 
not that's pretty much there with the kit. You guys see how this changed in the paragraph. We see all the super tax change. Is the uh, rims of guys only went up 20%. So from 130 to 150. Um, you know, of course, he didn't have, like I said, the extra passes down there. So nothing really did much there. But you see, he's on a lot of categories. So I think that's a good thing where, um, you know, uh, he could be ran on a lot of teams. So I think that's going to be great. So I think, again, you know, this is a W. Like, this is a good um, yellow coin LR getting another great easy A. So I think, again, like I said, you can't get everything. You know, it is what it is. But I think it is a W. I think this is a good unit. And a lot of people are going to enjoy using this Goku again because he was pretty much bench. So, all right. Let's go ahead and talk about some more things. Like I said, with him getting one, people are speculating that the other uh, uni reps or tournament of power participants are be getting theirs. And we're just going to go over a few here. Try not to make it too long. So let's go ahead and get into it. So, yeah, man, you know, we have, of course, everybody's always looking at your boy, MUI Goku. And, of course, um, him being released a year early, we don't know because that, that unit we just got was a 2020 unit. But, um, you know, he's probably due to get one, too. Uh, people are saying, you know, maybe they can have a godly rotation, him and the uh, strength version together. I think that'd be great. But the same thing with this unit, as you guys can see, he has a little more passive than that one because he came out a year later and he has higher values. He don't have 77 percent. His baselines at the moment is 150. So, yeah, this unit is also going to need the same thing, you know, build some defense, get some more dodge chances. Hopefully, I don't think they want to raise it any higher because they don't want him to dodge everything, but he can dodge a good amount. But just like the other Goku. Once they get caught, they're going to die. So the other Goku so far with his EZA, he'll be able to tank a little bit more. This Goku doesn't stack any defense, so he's not going to be able to tank. So he get hit, it's over, you know what I'm saying? And there's some crazy uh, modes. But yeah, man, I have I do have this guy here fully rainbow. Uh, mine's full dodge build, so we can't, we can't, you know, full round with hit. But we'll take some more offensive firepower, like I said, some attack and defense, preferably. Um, some more things, and I think this guy will link well with the other one. So I think a lot of people like this one more better. Of course, of course it is the more superior version. But uh yeah, man, I think um, you know, once this guy get an easy A, you know, they could be going even crazier because just who it is, you know, he is a anniversary unit as well. And um, yeah, man, it's just a lot of things they can do with this unit. Now you see he's on a lot of categories too. Um, link skills are very good. Yeah, yeah man, I think, uh, yeah, he, he'll end up being very strong. Same thing with your boy Vegeta here. I think Vegeta is pretty good. Um, you see, he got the same baselines, but he don't have any attack and defense in his super attacks either. And yeah, man, all these 20, 20, 21 units don't have the in, in their, um, passive mostly from what I've seen. And, uh, yeah, he's due to get that same treatment, hopefully. Now they don't. I don't want them just to give people attack. That's just purely terrible. Please get them defense. They they really really need that. But yeah, man. Um, I don't see them probably getting one yet. But yeah, man. Vegeta. You know, hopefully they don't screw him around. Like I said, we're not going over everybody in detail. We're just highlighting them. Uh, Jaren. I know some people were disappointed with. I think the strength one. He wasn't that great. Now this Jaren is not really. Um, but crazy baseline started 200%. So I don't think they may change that, but this guy can help his own team, university 11, and also, you know, a scream units, you know, if they want, you want to put them on that, that roster. Now I know he don't have too many links with them either, but he can work in some ways, but this guy, man, um, do needs the easy as well. Um, uh, you know, Jaren's Jaren. I don't know what they're doing with that. Let's go ahead and go to here. We have this guy here, your boy, Android 17, with them in the background. I think this unit right is pretty solid. If only this has some defense with it, that'd be great. Um, you know, some more things in the past. This baseline at 70% is just pure terrible. Like, yo, if this was to leave 150, this guy would be able to tank some more. If they add that to maybe 152, so, you know, they combine them together. But, you know, they'll be able to probably do a little bit more. But this unit is a little more supporty. Like, you don't really look at this as an offensive unit. And they got them doing this stuff. So, he is giving defense to everybody. But, 
you know, this unit can't tank, you know, in any mode, you're not really going to be using this unit right now. But hopefully, if this unit get an EZA, this unit pop off as well. So, these boys right here, I think Goku and here, I have this unit. They are pretty good. Um, of course, they can use some touch ups. I think, um, you know, they can become even crazier. You see, they already have raised attack and defense and greatly raised uh, here in their kit here from 2021, but that was later in the year. And, um, you know, they're starting off at 170 base stats here. So I think this unit just could be proved upon on whatever they do. Of course, people will be using the, uh, the strength UI, UI sign Goku for a while. But I think if this unit become way better than that unit, I think people will use this unit over them because this was the best unit, I would say, maybe for STR for tournament participants until the STR went getting his, uh, you know, easy A right now. So he's going to replace this guy. But you can still use this unit, though, still. Maybe if you don't have him like me at the time, I had to use him because I didn't have the other one. And when I was doing tournament participant stages, I had to put them in. These guys right here, man. Whew. This is a very I can't I kind of duo Goku and Vegeta themselves, man. This LR, these boys haven't got any love. They're 2020. Uh, you know they just need a lot of stuff going for them. I think um, this could be a unit we could see um, if they choose to uh, do it. And that's why I was telling y'all, man. Just like you know, Easy A, Easy A twos and things. There's a lot of units that don't even have their first Easy A like them that really deserve it and they haven't got any love. So hopefully this unit does get some love and you know they can um you know shine on the Universal Rob Saga team and all the other teams that are on. But this unit right here, they have good animations and I think um it's a waste, you know, that they came out with these units and these units are not being able to use. I know Dokkan is still going, you know, ninth year anniversary coming up. It's a long run, man, for a gotcha game and you know, one of the very many they're still going at that pace, but, you know, if they're still committed and, you know, producing more content for Dokkan and everything, I think this unit needs an upgrade very bad. And, man, I hate looking at them in the box. I'm like, yo, this unit sucks. I don't understand. I know it's old now, but y'all did easy 80s guys badly. So hopefully they get some love. We'll go ahead and go here, man. These guys here do need some love as well. They have an identity crisis. They didn't know what they wanted to do with this unit, and I would say they're he, I would say they're more of the worst ones. You don't really want to see. People wanted the purple um, seventeen, of course Goku and Goku and Vegeta. I would say they was like the eyeball out of them four, and you know they were still decent, but those three was better. The boy, Angel. Frieza, or you gonna say Angel Golden Frieza, because he this one does transform. I know a lot of people still like this unit to this day, but you know he is outdated. So people are hoping that he gets the EZA, and potentially you know you can use him on other teams that he on. So of course Frieza been Frieza. Frieza have some tags, of course that's you know there for him, but hopefully you can use him with you know other Frieza's and you know the other teams if they don't you know restrict him in that sense so right now there's no restrictiveness here so hopefully this Frieza is pretty good because you know we don't know how many more Frieza's we're going to get so this one get an easy A that'd be awesome uh this guy Gohan and Frieza here is um your boy uh they do need him to do this uh dispo they do need this one to be good I think this one could be like a tank because he already has some guarding things here. As they start improving this unit, it won't have an identity crisis. They will have a tank and uni reps. And of course, this would be like that slot one unit. So hopefully they can adjust these numbers and adjust all these stupid things of potentially guarding. Just give them direct guard and, and just keep it moving. But yeah, tank perhaps. Kefla. So this is the base version, of course. Of course, he does transform. The start of third turn. I don't think that's too bad, but everything here needs to be changed. A lot of the base stats has to go up. Some additionals got to be put in there. Attacking defense got to go in there. I think they can really help the universe 16. The universe 16 is garbage. I think Kale really, really needs some help. Now, Kappa, of course, being the mono lead red. So if you add her and add another red unit like the hit, the reds on that team is going to hit hard. So 
she can be very instrumental in running with that cap, that red cabo and that red hit. And, um, you know, with uh, Kale and, you know, et cetera, going forward. But I also want to include these girls here, man, because they trash, man. I hate seeing them. They need to change this uh, fusion condition, hopefully in an easy A. And they do need to give them a lot more, man. I think this is a very underused unit. I think it would be okay if the AGL, um, Kale and Khalifa, didn't get trashed on their easy A. They really did them dirty because they did not want them to be broken like before. But at least make this one good if y'all going to just leave them trash. That's what I was saying. You know, if they don't do an easy A2 thing with the AGL, Kellen Khalifa, make this Kellen Khalifa pretty good. Change this transformation condition. I think people will not complain as much because this would be the remedy unit. I would say the AGL one still has better animations. But at the end of the day, this is a Dokkan Fest, I believe. I, I don't think this unit should be um you know um you know just like this like why y'all hate girls man i don't know why y'all do that like the person said i forgot this unit existed i forgot this unit had a fusion mechanic of course it's six turns like this is ridiculous most of the turns with these girls they're gonna get killed before they even happen then they don't get a lot of things once they transform because they lose some things see there's no attacking defense here there's some other things this unit man it's going to get smacked. So they need to make this girl better. This is Kefla, man. Kefla needs some better representation. So if we do get another, you know, LR Kefla by herself, we'll take that. If y'all don't want an easy A her, give her, give her another card. Give her better animations and, and, and go from there. We'll take one. So like, comment, subscribe, man, if you're not already done so. I just want to do a video on your boy STR, your I Goku, uh, easy A, uh, I think he is U.S. Sign Goku. I think he is pretty good. Um, of course, your mileage is going to vary from 55% to um, Rainbow. But I think he's still a good easy A nevertheless. So it's good to start off 2024 with a good easy A instead of a bad one. So hopefully the next easy A after him, like I said, if it's one of these units or somebody else that, you know, they can go well together or, you know, they'll both be great. So like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace out.